Alright guys, we're right outside of the base where these mercenaries are held up. And they're right over there, there's like three or four of them. Doesn't look like too many. And welcome back to Walkthrough Wednesday. This is Dragon Age Inquisition, The Rise of Sin, Part 22. And we can't fix his boots. I looked into it, <laughs> we couldn't fix them. There's no uh, slots on this armor, sadly. But that's alright, we can live with it. Let's get him. The camp for our supposed bandits lies up ahead, I believe. The supposed bandits? I think it's pretty clear they're there. Hey, dude. Don't knock me down. I ain't falling back. But I do need to get behind this guy. Eh, it's alright. He's dead. Make it take you. So much for bandits. He has a nice little cleaver though. If we can get a Canary ally, that'd probably be pretty good for them. What is on the map? Oh, it's water. <laughs> I was like, what? Alright, so, uh, this is where it said. I'm guessing it's inside this giant fort. This should let us take this thing over, man. Our forces would be able to use that quite well. Ooh, I see Onyx. Alright. Is there anything behind this? There is. Waterfalls equal good, guys. There's always secrets behind them. Not too important stuff, but it was gold. <laughs> Money's always good. Looks like we got a skull thingy up there, too, to find more shards. Let's get this onyx and head on up there. And see what we have to fight. Five onyx? Sheesh. That gave a lot of stuff. Mercenary fortress is complete. Grand Forest Villa. That the lush and beautiful Grand Forest Villa is so far from Redcliffe Castle seems only odd only until one learns the history beyond its construction. More than an age before the Orlesian occupation of Ferelden, Arl Ye Jason, or Jason, I'm gonna just call it Jason, Arl Jason Goran, uh, ordered its construction to serve as comfortable living quarters for his close friend. I'm sure it was a very close friend. Famed singer and swordsman Sir Karam, the Bard. Oh, that was all one sentence. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Alessa Marguet, or Margaret, Jason's wife, event evidently uh, understood and supported her husband's relationship with Koram. Koram sounds kind of like a guy's name. <laughs> And because it was Sir Karan, but they're barred too, so I don't know. That's weird. Uh, only stipulating that the barb not live, or what? Oh, not live at the castle to avoid any public scandal. Yeah. Our old Jason's ride. Yeah, we know what they're talking about. <laughs> 
Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. It actually talked about a mount. See if we can find these shards. Well, there's one. There's two. Three. Well, that one's close. It is very difficult to control on this thing. Okay, there's four. Five's got to be over there. Yep. All good. We found them all. <laughs> Let's not go down there yet. Let's go inside here. And let's take this over. guys are strong. Like very strong. Hope they're not all like that in here. They're killable but very strong. Ah. Get Senna up. Alright, so Sin did fall there, but that's okay because he got right back up. It was because I was trying to do it without having to waste a pot, but I had to use a potion anyway. Alright, nothing there, nothing there. And there's gotta be something in here, it's an office room. Ferelden Banner. What? What was that? Hmm. That was odd. What was that? Um, don't know. Maybe it's to claim this castle. <laughs> That'd be nice. So let's read this. An unsigned letter. I don't care if you've got an archdemon itself lighting your... Yeah, on fire. <laughs> the, uh, mercenaries provide enough protection for you to continue the operation. If necessary... More will be uh, dispatched to your location. Keep the docks working and keep the product moving. Delays will not be tolerated. Sounds very ferocious. That guy means business. Bidnaz. So that's two more of those big guys. I hope not. Alright, the, yeah, there's a big guy over there. I'm gonna send my allies to get him first. They got range, they can hit him until she gets up close, so it's all good. See, that works so much better. He didn't even get an attack. See? Worked. Actually, that was three down. Are you, are you counting properly? Canary Buckler. Okay.
Yeah, this place could so work for our castle. We can move our entire force here. It's much better than Haven. And it has its own little shrine tree. I don't know what you call those guys, but you know, I call it a shrine tree. Because that's what it reminds me of. A tree and a shrine. Another canary buckler. There's a lot of canary stuff. Are we going to end up with a canary? That'd be cool. Loot this. Dwarven stuff. Do we got another dwarf ally? <laughs> Not likely since he's like one of the last of the dwarves. Ow. We totally messed that up. Big time. That's okay, we'll drink a heal over time potion and call it good. Let's get back up there. There's nothing left on the bottom floor. Climb up this. There's gonna be enemies staring right at us when we get up here. Hey, yeah, don't notice us. Not at all. He will never notice us. Get him! Get him while I go and loot stuff, I think. Nah, because there's more of them over there. Alright, we'll help out. So these guys are apparently all level 8s as well. We're almost level 7. Firm something pommel. Now let's go back over here. I am not falling back. But I do want that guy off of me. It's not letting me heal her, guys. I'll go stealth. You can't hunt me down if I'm stealth. I'll get him up. No, I guess he used to revive. That works. No getting killed on the stairs again, okay, Cassandra? He's almost dead. This guy's a pain though. It's because we don't have no more potions. All those other hard hitters have taken them all. One down. 
All right. So all that work. Okay, I can see why it was all that work. Look at that. Masterwork Vanguard. Perfect for her. That's exactly what she needs. But uh, yeah, she's got to be level eight. You fear they would have made you and that belt. No nice. My studies threaten established ideas. I would never have been tolerated. I All right, let's go ahead and put that belt on us. Okay. Now, who doesn't have a belt yet? Solus. Solus doesn't have a belt, so we'll give him the belt of health. All right. So we're good. Continue. Right. Repairing the damage done will take great effort. Would they were more like you, Seeker? Uh, yeah. Whatever you said. I think they were talking about the fort, but I don't know. Would be nice. I mean, I want to steal this fort. Valamar Key. Okay. A letter from the Carter. Or from the Carta. We hired your mercenary organization to facilitate the business venture, not add complications. In order for the Carta to extract the product without ex attracting undue attention, the area must be free from observation. If the fighting between the apostate mages and the renegade templars is insufficient, your efforts were to dissuade refugees from exploring the area and interfering with our operation. We are meeting at our primary base of operations in Valamar to determine the next course of action. At your earliest convenience, send representatives to the location marked to explain the situation and obtain new instructions. An unsigned letter found in a remote mountain villa. This is a freaking castle, not a villa. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for episode 22 or part 22. And I will see you guys next time with part 23. And it's probably not going to be today. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. As always, keep sinful, keep alive, keep watching. Look at our armor now. Look at how cool that looks in the dark. That looks awesome. And he needs better stuff, though. We need to improve her, though. She needs that armor. So we gotta get to level 8. I'll see you guys next time. See ya!